Hello YouTube channel watchers, this is day two of uh, uh, Wicca a year and a day challenge, I guess. I'm gonna grab the book. Now, what today is about is those upsetting words. Now, the book goes through nine words. Here are your words. Wicca, witchcraft, power, ritual, magic, occult, pagan, spell, and earth religion. Here are three questions. Regarding each of those words, explore the following questions. What is my comfort level in using each word? How do I understand each word? How do I imagine that each word impacts other people, people who are involved with Wicca? Now, each word has quite a bit of reading to do. So, I'm going to go through each word, give you things that you should look up yourself if you don't have this book. For Wicca, you should learn about how it's a nature religion and how it's also associated with magic. Also, look up a shaman and how that relates to Wicca. Um, you should also know about the moons, the seasons, the very basic things about God and Goddess, etc. And, hmm, that's about it. About witchcraft, I would like you guys to look up a little bit of the history about witchcraft, what went on in the burning times in Europe, when all these people were killed, and also what a contemporary nowadays witch is and what the definition of that is. Now, for power, that might be hard to look up because if you type in power, weird things will come up. You need to find power regarding to Wicca. Ritual, you need to find out what Wiccan rituals are. Basically, they are... Hmm... I don't know, just look them up. There's so much to read, I can't even skim through it. Look up magic in Wicca. Look up the occult and how some people use the occult in their Wiccan practice. Not everyone does. Look up the word pagan. How first it was used to reference a non-Christian, then it was used to represent a person who is not Christian, Jew, or Muslim, who does not go by the book. And how in the contemporary practice, what is pagan considered, what do they follow, etc. What a spell is in Wicca and also a little bit about earth religion. That's basically all today was with definitions and reading, then you answered those few questions before. Day three is gonna be about melting beliefs. What you're gonna need to know, what you're gonna need for tomorrow, is your answers from yesterday's exercise, so today's exercise. That's why you should be writing these questions down and answering them. A five to six inch white taper candle and a candle holder. And that's all I can tell you about tomorrow's exercise because I can't read ahead. So thanks for joining me. Love and light.